Welcome to Zero Hello. Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And Tanya's here. I'm and here. Atari's, Atari's here. Atari's here. And you're here. Welcome. And Atari's are here too. All the Atari's are here. <laughs> All even, the Atari's. Even the cat Atari's yeah. are here. Uh, tonight we're going to be playing some Atari 8-bit. <laughs> there we go. On the Atari 800 XL. With me. Party time for kittens. <gasps> oh, it's starting oh, it off right. It party time for kittens. Cats, cats, cats. Cats, 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 cats. cats. There you go. All right, cats. Tonight. The treat ball is loose. Oh, my goodness. Which loose. first? Catnip first. Catnip first. Treat then the treat after. ball. Oh, Thank now you. now he's crying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, th yeah. You have to give him the catnip first because last time. We gave him the treat ball, and he did not want to have anything to do with the catnip. There we go. There yeah, we go. That's the right order. Thank yeah. you, Gabadev, <laughs> for the catnip. You can see him in the in the in the cat cam. Yeah, we will switch over to that while we do the intro. <laughs> yes. Uh, and thank you, Rendered Ghost, for the treat ball, which yes. will be coming very shortly. Very shortly. After he uh, gets all hyped up. Yes. Uh, today we're going to be playing Agent Wander, Woo! a work in progress platformer for the platformer. Atari bit. Yes. Ooh. Actually, two platformers tonight. Ooh. Uh, that one's by devshine.com. And <laughs> Shift, the final, final version. We had the exclusive final version of that last show, mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to play it some more. Okay. And finish off the final last okay. levels we okay. didn't have time to get to. That sounds like fun. Uh, it's done by Haplo, who is in the chat. Yay. So they can uh, help us out if we get a little bit stuck, maybe. Okay. okay. Um, how will Catnip affect Atari's performance with the treat ball? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> last time it was the other way around, and he did not want the catnip after. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going to have to find a way to, how to gamble on it. Yes, we'll figure out something. <sighs> You yeah. could have an over under on the time of completion. Well, what you for need ten treats and the treat ball. We need a goal post at either end. Okay. And the number of times he gets it past the goal post over the course of the treats, maybe it's ten treats in the yeah. ball. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is is the score, and they can gamble on that. That might not be bad. Sort of like a, a pong where it hits the side. Yeah, and back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That might the be journal it. papers will be fantastic. <laughs> if you write it down, it's science. What that's, is that? That's oh, right. how to gamble on it. <laughs> that's all right. Nice. Yep, make sure you, if you write it down, it's science. Oh, no, sorry. Time. It is about how catnip will affect Atari's performance. I can I can come up with some journal articles on that. Excellent. Yeah, yep. I will measure him before well, and after. I will peer review it. The uh, <laughs> the grams of, of catnip. Oh, uh, yes. He, he's exposed to how much he he eats how many times he rolls around you know we can do that <laughs> and he needs we to have a control as well so no no catnip sometimes. all i need is a nice excel spreadsheet with a lot of colors Absolutely. oh yes colors <laughs> lots help. of colors graphs charts <laughs> and 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 like conditional formatting depending on uh, uh on his performance Ooh, levels. conditional formatting. i know very nice that's red about, yellow, that's the green. most that's the most amount of programming i tend to do is conditional <laughs> formatting but i do quite enjoy well that is fun yeah uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers <laughs> who help support the show. 8-Bit, Poet, Alan Ferrand, Andrew, Atari, Arms Code, Koto, Atari, 1974, Atari, HBO, Pope, Bruno Stacks, Captain Glasgow, <laughs> Chalice and Donnie Mao, Charles Wheeland, Chitla, Cubanismo, Cyrano Rebu, Dan, MC, Dan, MV, Dan, Dave M. A. Z. who won the coaster two mm. shows ago. Mm. Uh, Drexel, Dr. Moo Cows, E. Anchwoods, Gamma Dev, Grand Defender, H.O., J. Ivory Tower Collection, Johnny W.C. Caputo, Coder, Carl G. Karakak, Crocker, 20 Secondary Developer, Lambda Express, Matty Sipic T, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Matt, Mick Muse, Mike Sol, Mike Littell, Miss Nomer, Miss Command, M.K. Smith, Mr. Fix, Neo Media, Nostalgia, Pseudographics, Coog, R. Anchwoods, Render Ghost, Friends, Fiji, Rev, and Tuli, Ray, Cardo, Pim, Six Sweets, Medi B, Spice, or Spinley, S. Ramirez, T. Kedan, K. Track, M. D., Tweeny, Vexor X, Vintage Game Memories, Vitoko, 8 Bits, VG, Double Down. If you want your name read out, <laughs> And scrolling woo, woo. beside Tanya there, uh, you can just oh. hit subscribe. It's not beside me right now, so there oh, we go. There it Flip is. back. There we um, go, right there. Just hit subscribe, just like <laughs> Rendered Ghost did just before oh, the show. Oh, thank you, Rendered Ghost. Thank you so much, Rendered Ghost. Excellent. Next, you're going to tell me to use VLOOKUP. <laughs> is that an I, Excel have spreadsheet? Have I used VLOOKUP? What is that used for? Vertical? V. Mm. I know I've used that before, but not in a while. There you go. Well, for you, if you have a spreadsheet, then it has to be legit science. That's right. That's mm -hmm. all you need. Some impressive spreadsheets. Um, so in the news, oh, I have a poll question, which I haven't typed in. Um, let me do it real quick here. So tell them about uh, we went for a run. Well, oh, yes, I, we did. 
wow. on Sunday. Yes. We had a lovely early morning, well, early-ish morning 5K. Early run. for me. <laughs> in in a part of um, Vancouver that was fairly kind of wooded and yeah by a river yeah um, and uh, it was pouring rain the whole time oh, so, so wet so I've I've splattered in mud just just the whole the whole run but it was a good five k uh yeah, yeah I did better or about what I thought I what did about I what I thought to get. yeah it was about thirty minutes first run of the year. I won't say what I got. It was much more than that. <laughs> but I was walk running, and I did I did better than I thought I would. I so paused that's all good. twice for about 20, 30 seconds. That's that's a good. Which run. I was very impressed with myself. So uh, this I is didn't get a this lot is our baseline in. because we'll run through the summer and yeah, then we see how we do. Yeah, we have two more runs. Two more five Ks. Two more five Ks. Yeah. So. So the poll is: um, What's the most important factor in a modern console replacement? Um, like the 2600 plus mm. or the upcoming possibly RM800 XL replacement for the um, Atari 8-bit nice. replacement. It's a modern equivalent a for modern it, a equivalent. FPGA. It's a modern equivalent rather than just an emulator? Uh, or is it just an it's emulator? It's a hardware emulator. Hardware emulator. Okay, not emulator. a software emulator. No, Har hardware emulator. Now the 2600 okay. plus is a software emulator. But the RMA 800 XL is a, a hardware. hardware emulator. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, one cost. Is it cheaper than buying an original? Mm. Sometimes it's like, well, why would I pay more if I can just get an original? True. Uh, two compatibility with the original. Yes. With add-ons, things like original Ooh. joysticks, original peripherals. Yep. Like our RMA 800 XL would have to be uh, compatible with SIO devices, etc. Uh, number three, incorporated upgrades in hardware. If it has things built in. Okay. Like if the 2600 Plus had Atari Vox built in. Gotcha. Or, pff, I don't know what else. Um, <laughs> other things built into it. Like it would be more prevalent with a computer system. Mm. Like the ARM 800 XL, would it have the one meg upgrade built into it? Gotcha. Would it have a VBXE built into it? All these things that you could buy to add on. Mm. Um, because that will help with the cost, too. It's like, oh, it's really expensive, but you don't have to buy all these add-ons. Hmm. Uh, like if it has an SD card built into it. You don't have to get oh, a nice. cartridge yeah. um, that has an SD card. Uh, number four, I'll buy it regardless. Atari <laughs> fanboys. Yeah. They will just buy anything that comes out. If it's got the Fuji, it's on their shelf. <laughs> Some people are like that. I was going to say, this economy, I don't know. In this yeah. economy. Uh, or original <laughs> systems uh, only. Yeah. Now, for me, I think I'm going to have to go with compatibility. Yeah, I was going to say there's a solid trend showing up <laughs> in what people are putting on the screen. I think Arm 800 is a Polish project. Uh... I can't remember RM800 XL. <laughs> it PVG. Who cares what it costs? <laughs> Revive Machines. It's all in English on their... Oh, no, you can switch to it. You can switch to Polish in second. So I'm going to guess it's Polish. Mm. Uh, a Polish... Um, uh, let's just switch over that. Because they recently uh, released the box artwork for the release. Hmm. Um, they have shown a video of it working. Not much. Um... And they have um, screenshots that look like renders, but they actually have a real one working as well. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens with this. Everybody hopes. Oh, there it is. Poland. It is. Of course it's there Poland. There you go. Polish. Of course it's from Poland. All the good 800 uh, Atari 8-bit stuff's from there Poland. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, those are the ones who bought the speaker hats. Yes. Those are the uh, Atari fanboys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anything Atari. Um so yeah, it's mostly two. One for one person went for one cost. Sometimes that's very important. If it's yeah. like really cheap. Um and also compatibility. Let's see. Uh compatibility. I didn't put this in, but modern sensibility. Does it have HDMI output? Mm. Because that's pretty important too. Like hooking it up to a modern TV. It's you have to buy upscalers and blah 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 for all these and RGB outputs for some of some of these so that's an important factor so it has portability taking it from place to place yeah yeah um so first piece of news i'm is... surprised just to, on that comment yep. no one has put a five up yet no one's like absolutely not it's original or death they're pretty they're pretty <laughs> flexible yeah, they're pretty I flexible 
Yeah, I, th I think I think they people enjoy having something that sh they could have some preservation with. Mm. That they at least if it plays everything perfectly. Yeah, I think most people be satisfied. Yeah. I can't imagine a modern console requiring a channel three four switch box. Mm. Now that's really dedication to <laughs> an original uh, hardware. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think anybody wants that. Um, no one needs that. Anymore. So uh, Eagle posted uh, on. Thursday. I missed this on last show. Uh, he's been working on a um, kind of all-in-one cartridge for the um, 7800 mm. that incorporates pretty much every sound card known to mankind in the 8-bit era. Um, so now it has SID compatibility. You can play audio which has the SID sound. So check this out. volume right here. So it uh, plays Pokey, two Pokies, TIA, SN76489, YM2151, YM2612, YM2413, four Kovacs DMA, uh, Mini, and now C64 SIDS you can play on it. Wow. Cool. <laughs> That's crazy. That's so if you cool. want audio flexibility, Wait for this to come out. See SN two. Okay. Um, environment, I guess, but it's gonna. It's a development board. Okay. For people to um, use with seventy eight hundred games, Atari okay. seventy eight hundred games. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that'd be fun for developers. Now this is crazy. Um, this was discovered during compatibility testing with the 2600 plus okay now the 2600 plus has a cartridge port you can put 2600 games in and it dumps the cart and runs the dump in an emulator hmm. um, specifically stella um so people have been putting cartridges in seeing if it works if it works great check it off if it doesn't work they work on getting it working gotcha. by upgrading the back end, mm -hmm. the hardware, the software, etc. Um, so they've been making a list of things that don't work. Um, so they ran across a game that works sometimes, but not other times. Ooh, that's, that's intriguing. And they've narrowed it down to that. It there's two different versions of the game mm -hmm. on two different boards or configurations. Now this is the first. Uh, bank switching scheme that's been found in the longest time from an original game and they have named it wf8 bank switching scheme it's an 8k uh, cartridge and they trying to figure out why it was running sometimes and not the other it's because there's two different cartridge builds of the same game so it says thanks it's from revenge uh thanks in large part to per perseverance and ingenuity of razor we now have the a dump of the Smurf Rescue variant we ran across as part of the 2600 improvement work. The ROM variant doesn't seem to differ in gameplay from the common Smurf Rescue dump. Just 17 bytes differ from the common dump. So the main reason for this release is historical documentation. The variant uses different cart hardware and different bank switch scheme from the common F8 Smurf Rescue, which we're calling WF8. Uh, and it stands for write, W-R-I-T-E, F8. Unlike the regular F8 scheme, WF8 only has a single 1FF8 hotspot. And a hotspot is something that you write to. Okay. And it triggers the cart to switch over to another 4K okay. ROM. Because the Atari 2600 can only see 4K at once. So it goes from this to this, and then you continue playing your game or mm. reading the ROM or whatever you need to do. Mm. And then when you need to switch back, it writes to either the same or a different spot in memory. And it goes blip and switches back over so you can have more ROM space. Mm. And this is a different new scheme that has never been encountered before because probably maybe 95% of the games for Smurf Rescue were the original one. And they okay. never really ran into this because all you need to do is dump it once and now people can play Smurf Rescue. Interesting, right? yeah. And uses the D3 data line to determine which bank to switch to. So maybe there's four uh, 2K banks or something like that. 
Uh, Stella doesn't pre presently support WF8. That's another distinction. Stella doesn't support this, which in turn Stella is on the 200, 2600 plus. Mm -hmm. Nor do the flashcards. So don't expect much if you try and play this wrong. That particular it will problem. not run. Interesting. It is not supported yet. <laughs> Except it is supported. Uh, Gopher has now added in WF8 support. Okay. And I expect uh, that's a, a 2600 emulator, and I expect Stella to be adding it soon. Excellent. And in that same line of things, a Zaxxon variant has also been discovered with the exact same, same bank, switching. bank switching technique. Yep. So looks like uh, Coleco has uh, used it in a number of games, mm. and they're going to start now start looking at a bunch of other Coleco games and see if how many games this has uh, is used. So really, really interesting uh, for geeky people, <laughs> which is most of our audience. It's uh, always interesting. The question is why? Why did they suddenly switch their bank shift, uh, um, bank switching, bank switching um, parts shortage programming? in preparation to do something else that's it's different. just interesting i don't yeah. know i don't yeah, know why, why do would... people make these these decisions yeah you know? why do they change something that doesn't really fundamentally change anything on the they, end user they, they experience play, yeah yeah unless it does in Cost some way effectiveness yeah running out of parts you yeah know, something hmm. like that maybe yeah interesting uh, There's a lot of UHF channel talk. Yeah, in the they're chat there. really talking about channel <laughs> two and three, aren't they? <laughs> um, so funny. About why why they didn't use UHF channels instead of the VHF ones. Yeah, that is interesting. It is a question. Um, hmm. Why did VCRs do that too? They had channel three and four, some of them. Two and three, some of them. Two three, depending. I think usually two, two three. three. Carl Carl G mentioned two three. Oh. No, like not three four, but mm. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, very interesting. Why? Yeah. It's Carl G's his fault. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's see. I think it's time to get into the games. So this first game is called A Agent Wander by devshine.com. Uh, originally started uh, development or posted about development. Leave Bernie alone. No, no, no. <laughs> Uh, in March 29th on his site, um, and this build is from May 24th, so four days ago. It's a 30k game. Uh, the developer, Jacob Copsey, has made Agent Wander, the one we're going to play, and a game called Derby Chase for Windows. And you can download it from their website on devshine, literally devshine.com. And here is the website... Designed for Atari 8-bit computers with 48K or more, which includes those. Agent Wander was originally designed for NTSC computers. A PAL supported, which we're going to be playing on PAL. Mm. Um, the game works slightly better in NTSC than PAL, so if you have the option, play the game in NTSC mode. Well, we're not going to, because <laughs> we play on PAL, because 99% of Atari 8-bit games are made in Poland and are made on PAL. <laughs> made on PAL. There you go. Um, and I have some stuff to read out about the game, but there's some version versioning uh, down here. Mm -hmm. um, on some models of Atari, such as 800, the game would return to the title screen. This is the newest update. Mm -hmm. Once you finished a level, instead of continuing to the next level, mm -hmm. this release finishes fixes this well, issue. Well, that's good, because no one likes to get kicked out of, you no. know, when they've completed a level, get kicked out. And get... that's the a bug I found. So, oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and I, I was going to play it on the show, yeah. and then I was like, Oh, there's a bug. I better tell the dev. Oh, yeah. And then I'll wait for the fix, and then yeah. we'll, we'll play it on the show, and now it's fixed. Yay. So we're going to play it on the show. Okay. So let's uh, switch. So oh, this gosh. little guy is owed. <gasps> oh, some, you a tree are. Ball. We so should I do think, that now. I think the um, catnip has sunk in. Yep. Has it sunk in? Let's I get the it's box. In. Let's get the box. So this is the one where I think we could have a little mini... Um, um, Game? Football slash soccer session. Footy. <laughs> Footy sec. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where's the lid? Okay, let's switch over to that. Get it centered. There we go. And and um, I totally forgot. Oh, you have to, supposed to wait till a show to find bugs. And you and Tanya have a reputation hold up. This is yeah. a bad. <laughs> this was a bad bug, which probably wouldn't show up on my system. Okay. But I, in Altira, I had some setting, and it was showing up. It's plenty. Plenty. <laughs> 
He's a good kitty. Are he you deserves good kitty? plenty. Do I'm you want open treats? The it's a hot. Yeah, he Hello. wants treats. He's like, don't make me beg. But I will if I have to. Yep. You ready? You ready for some treats? I'll open the. Oh, there's quite a few holes to open here. Oh, Let just the big see. ones work with this. There, there you go. we go. Uh, you ready? That's pretty good. You ready? The box is in your Set. mind, Atari. Go. There you go. Get it. Get it. The box is in your... Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. What's that from? Go, Atari! Oh, he's got his first one. Treat number good one. Good job. So thank you to Rendered Ghost yes, for yay. that. Yay! I'll get this started and uh, well, he, ready he to go. Well, he's sorting out his treats. He seems a little slower on his uh, yeah. catnip today. What's going on? Does catnip slow you down? What's happening, kitty? Hmm? <laughs> there are people in the house, so Atari is, is very distracted. Yeah. Don't be distracted. Keep, keep, keep on task. You've got, you've got treats there. There you go. Okay, we're gonna switch over while he uh, oh, he's Runs taking them out of the treats. box. Why are you that's, running away with your that's treats? That's not a good tactic, kitten. You're a if silly. We're gonna do some timings on these. Okay, so okay. here you go. Thank you very much, Atari. There's a ton of treats in that ball. There's more. Oh, he's very distracted. He's right super distracted. Oh, there you go. Distracted or hot? A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Yeah, no attention span. Mm -hmm. I know how that is. Okay. So version nine, press the button to continue. Ooh, nice, nice intro. Agent intro Wander. screen, I like that. So Look at that. Let's go to help, and I think it has some um, help. There we go. So move using the joystick. Try it now. Interactive <laughs> screen. Oh, that's a little loud. There we go. Stand on the transporter, move down to relocate to the lower transporter. Stand on the uh, blah transporter to the left and move up to re relocate to the middle. Nice. Help number three or four. Space pauses the game. Q quits the game. Conveyor belts move you automatically. There you go. And you do get points for going over the unmarked spots and changing colors. And you get points for the diamonds. Nice. Avoid all enemies. You will lose a life if you touch an enemy. You can jump over some enemies by pressing the trigger. Oh, okay. That's okay. Okay. So we'll go to options. So we can set the level. Uh, we can set the player color, or is that number of players? Oh, player color. Oh, Ooh. that's nice. That's a nice option. Oh, I like that. Aqua it is. Yep. Sound on, we'll yes. We'll keep the sound. High on. color. So you can change the color to off which will oh flicker no flicker yeah because the developer has dead, done some flicker which we know a lot on 2600 but you don't see it a lot on 8-bit mm. to add more color to the game mm. we'll keep it on for now unless it's really bothering people yep it's and a we'll go flickery. to back yeah okay and we'll go play like yay and there is a time limit and the goal is to get all oh my god you almost died immediately uh, get to gold is to get all the diamonds, and you have three lives. You can jump over those dudes. Oh, oh my god, my that time, was so close. Is, I, I... <laughs> up, beam me up. Uh, from the game site, um, the game is being developed in assembly language. Development is done on a Windows PC using VS Code and Mads Assembler. Testing is done using Altera. The game is being developed to fulfill my dream I had when I was a kid in the 80s to create a professional quality game for my Atari 800XL. My goal is to try different techniques I've read about to make full use of the hardware available in 8-bit Atari computers. Mm -hmm. Features implemented. Flipping between two character sets every other flame to frame to bend, blend colors to create more simultaneous on-screen. Oh, terrible. Oh, you lost a life? No, I, I was now running out of time. Uh, now I want to lose life and do it better. <laughs> do it better! Uh, background sound player that takes sound data as input and then plays the sounds automatically. Each item in the sound data specifies frequency, volume, noise, and duration frames. Up to four sounds can play at once, one sound per voice. 
Player missile multiplexer for the enemy sprites. Each character row can have a different horizontal color positioning color for PM players 1, 2, and 3. PM player 0 is used for the player sprite. Player 0 flips between two sets of graphic data and two colors every other frame. Uh, this creates a three color player sprite using a single PM player. Play field hit detection implemented by reading the character value of the characters around the player's position. A character meaning lookup table is used quickly to determine which detected character code means. The flicker is pretty bad over the stream. Don't know if it looks better there. I mean, we have a perfect view of the flicker. Um, and it's fine on our screen because it's doing a perfect 60 frames a second on our visuals. But sometimes uh, Twitch can't handle this kind of thing because it's not meant for this kind of thing. Twitch was kind of designed for modern gaming, not completely different frames every 60th of a second, which is always something I've struggled with. Duck on the, especially with the 2600. Now you don't have to walk over every part. No, but, but you get you more get score points. if you get it all, right? Yeah. yeah. So when we, um, on the next game, we'll, uh, uh, oh my God, you survived that. I don't know how I we'll survived We'll switch that. it off. Uh, because the game was designed on NTSC, the timings and colors are, were incorrect on PAL machines. The color issue was solved by having a color table that gets modified if PAL hardware is detected. To oh. solve the issue of the speed the game is running at, I am running the game engine uh, logic twice on every fifth frame on PAL hardware. Another thing is, yes, we are playing a PAL system. Oh no! Oh my goodness, that was terrible which is 50 frames a second, <laughs> which is translating to 60 frames a second. So the flicker, make sure you turn it off. Go to options and turn off the high color. Some people are not liking it so yeah, much. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Twitch was not, Polygox says Twitch was not designed for 8-bit games, but the best Twitch channel is ZPH. Oh, thank Aww. you. You can start on a higher level if you want to skip the first one. That's true. So you don't have to do the kind of, it's kind of a simple practice level. You made it to level three? Yeah. Okay. So future development goals. High score tables saved to disk to persist between play sessions. Uh, Built-in custom level editor. And theme music. So not much more to go. I mean, um, high score table, not super difficult. Built-in custom level editor, unless he's already dis like. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Unless they've already started on that. Um, oh, it disappears and comes back after a while. Um, a level editor is going to be tough, but a lot of people make their own level editors as they go, so it might be easy. And theme music sounds like they already have music under control when you yep. die, so I think they're pretty close, as they show. This is version point nine. So that makes sense. Oh, much better. Oh, people are liking this better. Oh, okay, good. Much more solid. I think it might have to do with the fact that this is PAL and our stream is NTSC at 60 frames. Mm. So the flickering is going to be off because it has to oh, my repeat is terrible. or drop frames. Yeah, yeah. Because we almost never, ever, ever have flicker on the one PAL system we use. Like, Flicker is very rarely used on. Um, oh my god! Right from one <laughs> I'm just terrible. Into another. I'm doing so badly. <laughs> BR Pocock says a lot of us build level editors and such for our own use in the first place. That's yeah. what I thought. Because it's just easier to make your game, mm. right? But some don't make the level editors like run a book, like they make them in a different program or a different operating system. It's up. It's up. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I find that... Even when it's down, it's up, right? Well, you're going up to the floor you want. It's, but even it's like an elevator, but I feel like I want to push down on the button. Do you know what I mean? On the transporter? But if you press... It kind of messes me up. Up here, it goes down. Yes. Yeah, so it's always up. It's not because it's up to go up. Go 
up first. Oop. Yep. Oh See? my god. <laughs> that causes panic. It does, because you're not looking where you're going. That's really cool. You're not looking where you're going because... Ah! You're just in a panic. Nope! Oh my god. This level's hard! It's harder than you think it is. It seems very simple on the surface. It does. But a lot of them don't run... You have to put your feet down. I can't read Sorry. it. Sorry. Don't run hosted on the host system. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. Oh, I forgot he turned around no, there. No, it's terrible. And it's one of those games where you have to do it all over again. Mm -hmm. It's getting a little crazy. Uh, I don't want to go there. I want to go to the middle. You just need... Oh, I made it back. You just oh, you need the jump. diamonds. You yeah. go like this. And it doesn't get rid of all of them. Will we make it to level four? I think so. Careful. Just, just, good job. Level four. Hey, Kev. Hey, Kev. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, so many times. This goes up to the top, which is completely safe. Can I make it across? No. Here? No. Ah. It's only the really short ones I think you can make across. Yep. Okay. So you have to go across to the middle. Oh. Oh, you do, cr you can press down. Oh, that's multi-level. You only go up one up, at a time. Up, down, down, yeah. down. Hi! Did you eat all your treats? He finishes. Yes, he did. Finish I didn't even treats. notice we were playing the game. Good kitten. He's like, no Throw problem. All the treats <laughs> yeah, you can't get across any of these. No, no, you're not getting more, sweetie. Not right now. Not right now. There's a timeout of an hour. Yes. So you might get some. Unless you want some some bell treats, which we we might consider. As a little a little extra. Okay. Really, you get to the elevator part. Oh my God. So I need to get the middle. Oof. Oh, I hit my head. Ah! No! Oh, you have to fall down from the. Can I get it there? Ah! No. My hat almost touches it. Almost. <laughs> Aww, oh, you're gonna run out of time. Oh my God! I forgot about the time. Yeah to go down each level like that and jump over that guy. There you go. And then you have to do it on the other side. Right. Ooh, 13. I'm not going to make the time. Nope. I don't think you are. Ah, ah. Oh, oh I should have gone right. <sighs> hmm? Game sound does think. Okay, I'll fix that. Thank you. How oh, is this? Ah, oh, this level. starting in level three. Yeah. Well, you haven't completed this level, so. Yeah, it does come back, which is good. Oh, oh no. Is the is sound good now? Should be. Oh, the, the sound goes out of sync when it doesn't get a clean signal. It starts changing, it, like it keeps going with the audio, oh, but it doesn't keep going with the video. It like drops frames and does a buffer with the video somehow, but it doesn't with the audio. Game sound is fixed. Thank you. Thank you. Close. 
OBS being weird? I don't think it's OBS. I think it is actually the capture hardware. Um, I mean, it could be OBS because I have to reset the capture device, turn off and on the capture device, which could reset oh, OBS. Why is the trouble with that? I have to jump over him. <laughs> so it's always hard to tell. Like, uh, one way would be unplug the... <laughs> Capture. Oh, sweet cat. Unplug yeah? the hardware and plug it back in, which would definitively tell me. Beware of birds! Yes, oh yes. Oh my god. That's solid uh, advice right there. Very solid. Do you Pro switch it to four? Tip. Yeah. Hi. Pro tip there. Atari says, I also think you should beware of birds. Oh, yeah. yeah. He'll take care of them. Yeah, you point the bird out to him and he'll be like, yep, I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay, that's a good tactic. You can walk crouching, too. Slowly. <laughs> it's funny. He's funny. He's sneaking. Sneaking. Sneak walking. <gasps> oh, Damn it. that was... That was uh, I gotta wait till that bird is out of the way. I just drop yeah. in and not... And I just I don't know. see it. I know. So a lot of enemies on that one line. Yep. See, now would be the wrong time to drop down, which is what I did before. Wait yeah. till the birdie goes away. Then get it. Then go and do the other side. And then go do the middle. I think I have a tactic now. My goodness. Oh, that was close. Yeah, it was planned. <laughs> uh, so I have to drop, drop. from drop. this there to there. And go all the way up, and then get those two. And then all then the way to the bottom. just go all the way and be very safe while you do it. Yep, don't get hit. No birdies. Tactics! Yes. Elgato, uh, one of them is. I switched away from Elgato for one of the captures because Elgato sometimes doesn't work with Elgato, <laughs> which is so dumb. I discovered that. What is this? looks the same. It does look the same. Did you hit the, the max same. level? Level I four? I have. Do you want to go back to the beginning and we'll see if there's a level five? Yeah. Yeah, this is the this same. This is the same level. Okay. Are we sure? Yeah. Okay. I think so. That's my last life, so that's fine. I think so. Well, it says level five. Maybe it, it, maybe is... it was the same platforms but a different level? It looked like it had more... Oh, no. We'll try five again. Maybe it was the same structure, but... It had more things, like at the bottom? I think you're right. It didn't have things at the bottom. It, it is the same platforms. It is. Yeah. Same layout with more enemies. Yeah, I think you're correct. On the surface, it looks to be the same, but... Yeah. Not much harder, though. Just a tiny yeah. bit harder. A little bit more challenging. Gotta watch out for that birdie. Watch out for that bird. That bird. Duck. And then we go up, and then we go to the middle. Oh, there's no guy in the middle. Yeah. Okay, that makes it actually so much easier. That's yeah. actually easier. Duck. That should be switched. Oh, phew. Who's the oh last kittens, one? kittens. Scared, scared cat. Are you scared? There's people walking around upstairs. He's on alert. He's so confused. He's oh, like, it's... usually all the people are in this room. It's pretty much the same, but still Slightly? a little no, different. No, it's a little different, I because think. Because there's disappearing, disappearing platforms. Yeah. And there's more... Ooh. A little bit different. A little bit more challenging, but stay, like same layout. Yeah. Darcy sneaking into the house. Oh. No, nope, family nope. members visiting. That's the... <laughs> Darcy sneaking in. Yeah. He does like to sneak in, though. Sometimes I come home from work and he's just here. He's just there. Yeah. Oh <laughs> I'm like, oh, hey. <laughs> Usually on Fridays. That wasn't much harder, but it was a little bit harder. Yeah, still have to do the whole duck. Yeah. Nice. Okay, level six. Now it's level seven. Oh, now this is very different. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these go up to one, I'm guessing. Now we'll duck. Now we'll go up to one. Oh, we have to drop. That's fine. Because that comes up, 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 duck. Duck goose. There we go. Up, up. We're gonna. That looks like you can't get out of it. 
So we're not going to do that yet. Yes, that <laughs> you do last. That is the rule. Duck. Down. We'll do... No, you can drop and go up, Oh, that's right? true, because I have to go up anyway. Yeah, just don't fall off the edge there. And then we'll go all the way to the top. Ah! Ah! <gasps> Duck! <laughs> Let's get centered. And that is dangerous. What if we can jump over? Uh. <gasps> Good job! Starting to get a little bit more puzzly. That one was actually puzzly. Oh my god. What are these? There's little green dudes. Oh, the green dudes and worms. Can I go up those vines? vines? Ooh, nice. Is it like a Donkey Kong kind of level? It or can you. Be. Nope. No. Nope. Just decoration. Just, is it decoration? I gotta try some more. Yep. Yeah. You oh, can't get those. Oh, it's puzzly. Uh, okay. You have mm. to get everything by dropping, basically. From uh, the top. I can get that one down here. Can you? Not easily. You died. It. Um. Level 8. Can I jump over him? I don't know if I can. Those guys are so fast. No. no. How do I get that? I don't know. Maybe you do something and they disappear? I don't know. That's going to be the last They're, one you get. Them vines just for looks. <laughs> They're yep. show vines. Show vines. Yeah. That, that's the last one I have to get. That's why. Can you not jump? No. <gasps> oh, no. That's the last one you have to get. No. What? Yeah, you can't get back up unless those vines get you. Oh, Can, is I'm that... already screwed then. You can't use the vine? I, the the I one try. that touches the ground? Uh, oh, maybe it has to touch the ground. <laughs> Can you jump from there? No. I think you're dead. I think I am too. This doesn't make so any is there sense. a one-way path? Ooh. The vines have to work. Hmm. They have to work. How do you get onto the upper levels? They're not load bearing vines. Eight. Not low. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> okay. Wormies! Fall through mm. the bottom to wrap around to the top. Oh, mm. it's doubtful, but that's Might the well only try. thing I can think of. I love the wormies. They're so cute. Oh, the wormies are so cute. Um, well, let's try it right now. Nope. Mm. Didn't think so. <laughs> Didn't seem like that type of game. But you have to try. Mm -hmm. But now there's two places you can't... I don't... You must be able to get out of there quick enough. Let's try this. There's no way I can get out of there quick enough. It is. But I have to practice it because I can't get out of there. Yeah. Unless I'm just not doing it right with that vine because that's the only vine that touches the ground. The vines, you can't grab them. It's not up, down, it's not doing anything. Oh, you can jump while you're ducking. Okay. <laughs> Cute. Hi. hi. What's up? Did you go say hi to the peoples? Is it more exciting in here? It's more exciting. It is. They and might be eating food, though, so. Yeah. yeah. Any other can ideas? I try? Can I try? Yeah, you can try I'm this one. Pretty See. sure I'm not going to get anywhere, but. But we have to, like, all the other ones are fine. Like, you just get them. But those two, one of them has to be last. It's got to be with the vines. Maybe you jump horizontally to them? Huh. Hmm. That's a good question. A jump sound is triggering Mario 3 Tanuki suit flashbacks. <laughs> You must be able to get out of that. I would practice mm. on another vine mm. first. Try jumping hor like diagonally to a vine and grabbing onto it in a safe area, which is probably the um, bottom, just one down the elevator, like around there. Just jump. I wasn't able to do it. Hi, are you cute? Are you the cutest cat? Are you a cuddle cat? Yes, you are. Hmm. <gasps> Ducking and jumping. Ducking and jumping. Duck and jump? Duck like and this? jump that guy. Oh. That's that's how you do it. 
Okay, we have to make sure that works. And I think that is the key. You want to try? Yeah. <laughs> I will try. The left side first. Yeah, maybe yep. the left side. Yep. It's the left side with the ducking and jumping. Oof. But I still don't know. Uh, yeah, the duck jump I didn't give myself might work, time. but that's a tight jump. I gotta practice outside of that first. Hey, okay. what's up? Are you thinking about Bernie again? Don't Is think this about a Bernie. Problem? Is this a problem? It's an ongoing problem. Do we need to get you some better help? Hmm? Oh, I can! I can! Saying. You can? Yep. <gasps> that's the ticket. Slow and. Well. No. But that works. That works. Okay. Okay. Come here. Okay, and so if you get that, then you just have to get that other diamond last. <gasps> so close. Yeah, you have to get the other diamond last. You can do it though. Rage joystick handoff, yeah? You do it! Squat jump for the win. Throw it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So basically. Oh, so close. So close. Shouldn't have done that. A little closer. Don't forget the avoid the enemies part. Oh, thanks, Crouchy. Thanks for the pro tip. That's right. S -s 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 I keep running into enemies and I die. You do have to jump over him. I don't know if you could stand in the corner and it's do it. In the instructions, even. Yep. Avoid enemies for high score. How many games besides this and Dragonfire have a squat jump? Good question. Not many. It is a very unique... Um, I mean, Mario does. Uh, Super Mario Are there does. any fighting games where you squat and jump? Like, that creates a kick? Do you know what I mean? Wow. I think there must be some games that do that. No, you have to run back and jump over okay. him. I think that's the timing is... Yeah. You have to arc. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I don't think there's enough time to avoid him. Yeah, you want to kind of get him on his way back. That's there you go. How you do it. <gasps> Good job. <sighs> okay. Now you have to get all. Definitely. I'm going to go to the left. First. I would almost say get the diamond on <laughs> the far right, get the three. Oh no, can you do that? Yeah. The far diamond. Right? How? Then get those three. I got it before. The top. Right one? Yeah. Okay. You jump you you jump onto the green you can jump up there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh and then get the other two and then go for the bottom right. one. Right. Okay. So what? You can you can go back up this. There you go. That Greek guy though. You're so fast. Very fast. Squat jump. I'm going to wait. You're running out of time. What? Oh my god. Yeah, you're running out of time. It's okay. It's okay. Get it. Get it. Ooh, get it. Oh, seconds away. First time we ran oh, out of time. But, but. Time. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it faster this time. We, we got we got the tactic now. Yep, so. we do. Hey, Atari. Oh, you almost had it. Soul Caliber. Soul Caliber squat kicks. Squat kicks. Squat kicks are definitely a thing. <laughs> Is that what you do at exercise? Squat kicks? <laughs> Could be. I mean, that would be good exercise. Oh. The real reward was all the friends you made. <laughs> oh, thanks, Carl G. I don't know if there's many friends that happen in this game. <laughs> yeah. Everything seems to be an enemy. Yeah. You don't know. They could you'd be bringing you home to play on their arcade. Like. Could be. There's nothing... Well, it does actually say you died, so I guess that's not true. I was going to say, you know, there's no actual proof. He's not bleeding out on the ground or no, anything. No, he just lost a life. Yeah. Lost the uh, ability to play. <laughs> Yay! Woo! Uh, how many Good levels job. are there? I'm guessing nine? We'll nine? See. I didn't look to see how high the choice went. Oh, that's oh. all the diamonds. My goodness. All the oh, diamonds that's everywhere. all the diamonds. Oh, I missed all of them. Oh, no. Oh, we can jump up. Yeah, that's good. This one's all about just getting through Time. things. Yeah, 88 seconds. Oh, you can jump higher than I thought. Let's start at the top. Oh, <sighs> damn that's it. what you want to avoid. <sighs> okay, let's getting hit by the go to the airplanes. top. 
Oh, there's no elevators at all. No. It's all jumping. Okay. There's probably a tactic to do it in the fastest time. Yeah. Okay. Like, here, here, oh here, here, God. here. How did I do that? I don't know. Looks like a bonus. It does look like a bonus stage. Yeah, it's like, get get the score before the time runs out. But this one, you actually die if the time runs out. Yep. It's not uh, the Galaga stage. No, it is not. Let's just get those. Get that one, that one. Get in there. And that it's one. It's all the upper stuff. Oh, there we go. That one. Watch out. Watch out. Duck. And then I go back and forth. We've almost got it. Oh, no! No! <laughs> <laughs> I think you have to go back to the, the left side. I don't think you can get back up there. No, on, you on... can't. That's what gets you. That's how they get you. There's That's only one path up. 30 seconds. Mm. Is there a way to earn an extra <gasps> life? Not that ah. I can see. No. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, that was close. I kept level my nine. head. Level nine. Yeah. I do like that you can pick the, the level. It does have two digits. So. I'm gonna... Ooh, there's a lot. We may. Oh, uh, we're going to have to stop it at some point. That's a... Oh, my God. Okay, let's finish that level and then. Uh, let's get to 10, 10. at least. Because yeah. you want to finish. Another game. Another game, yeah. yeah. I forgot the name, that's why. Pause. Shift. Shift, thank you. <laughs> let's do the right first. And then we'll go up to the left. We, there is a pattern, we did figure it out. This. This, 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 this. This, this, this. Oof. This. You can duck that one, so. Oh, yeah. Some of them you can't, though. It's this, then it's this. <laughs> then it's just these three. Yay! Woo! Level nine. This game needs an instant replay feature out of the food fight, especially when you die. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. interesting. What are those cloud things? Do they poof away? I bet they yeah. poof away. Oh, I hope they poof away. Let's see poof away. I'm going to hit my head. Uh, oh, there's a bird. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Didn't even see I... that. We'll finish level 10. Oh, I see. I think you should go to the right there. Oh, First. the clouds? Yeah. Oh, okay. I bet the clouds go down. Oh, Stop. not like that. Hit my head. I like that. Not like that at all. Seems like a really well thought out game. Yes, it does. It does. Like, this really is... good level design. As far as I know, this is not a port. Oh, like no, this, it's not going this down. Is... They don't disappear. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. There is a teleporter. Oh, my God. Stuff down there. Yeah. Oh. So you're saying I should get these? Well, I guess you have to jump up to them. Oh. You have to get oh, that there's another one. teleporter. Okay. That, that gets you in. Easy, easy peasy. You don't ah. have to. You don't have to. What are you doing? You don't have to go back up. You oh. just have to go there. Just oh, dodge. Yeah. Just have three more to get. I was going to hit my head. Whew. Okay, level 10. Woo. We want to see level uh, 9. Yeah. <laughs> and spikes now. Oh, wow. It's great. It adds a little, a new little element to every level. I love that. Do this one. Yeah, already started. Oh no, that's fine. We'll play till that's I die. Cool. Yeah, that's that's. Not nice. 
Yeah, some How great... do you get back up there, though? No, you have to, you have oh, to no. get them in a certain order. Oh, no, I didn't survey the land. Gotta survey the land. Yeah, there's no way you can to get jump back, back up. up there. Oh, impaled Game on... over. Okay, impaled that's good. Spikes. Level 10, we made it to. Okay, hi. Hello again. Oh, he says no, 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 no. She oh, doesn't no. need a controller. She no doesn't controller. need a She needs stick. a cat. Yes. Um... Okay, so the next game is mm. uh, Switch, mm. which uh, the developer who was in the chat, Haplo, uh, gave me a bit more information on it. Not James the Pale, James the Impaled. <laughs> Very impaled. <laughs> um, so I did not specify the correct game it is a port of. So it is a port of this game by Armor Games. And it is called Shift. There is a game that was modeled after this game, which is uh, on like the Switch and on Steam, etc., etc. So let's just fast forward a bit. Let me read out mm. some more info so you can get a good idea. Oh, what's you going flip. Oh. You flip, and the white becomes black. Black becomes a white. Oh, uh, it's because I played these before, but you fall. But in this case, you actually flip to the other side. Yeah, you don't. So it's fall. a little bit different. A little bit different. So this, uh, the game we're going to be playing in the entire eight bit is a port of this Flash game. Okay. By Armor oh, Games. Flash Games. And the developer made it for the Commodore sixty four and the Atari eight bit, and we're going to be playing it on the Atari eight bit. So this is a little bit of a preview of where the game came from because the one we showed has scrolling. The Atari 8-bit version does not have scrolling and this one is a single, single screen. Neat. Yeah. Okay. So let's get into the game. 8-bit, boom. Okay, so hold to the left and press the button. Go down to shift. Um, so this is the final version. You can download this off the developer's website, itch.io site. Excellent. Um, we made it to level 27 last time. I didn't play because I've no. never played this game so before. So you should play a couple of the first levels. First levels to get no. the hang of it? To okay. get the hang of it. Okay. And there's a code, but press fire to skip. There's the website, ha haplo with a four dot itch dot io forward slash shift if you want to download this. Nice. Run to the gate. Yay. Cute. Push joystick up to jump. Oh, not like that. These are bad for you. These are like Carl G level tips. Thanks, Spikes Carl G. Spikes are bad. <laughs> There is impaling in this game as well. <laughs> and it shows you the code for the level above the door on the level. I'll remind as needed. Thanks, Carl. Avoid spikes remains good advice. Wavy hands. <laughs> Yay. Oh, Very. thank you. Very. I will switch the cartridge. This first, and then that. This way. This way. Yeah, this is a really creative game as well. Really well ported to the Atari. Okay, you get the idea. We're gonna okay. skip to yep. level 27, I think. Restart. Oops. Turned off the sound. Oh. Where's the sound? You turned it off, how dare ye? Oh no. Where's the sound button? What's the sound button? How do we restart? That, that restarted the level. Yeah. Escape doesn't. None of things do. 
Another the thing too. Okay, I've got the music now. I think we might have to start oh, the game. Gosh. Gosh. Okay, so uh, to start from level 27 is 946E. So if you want to see the other levels, uh, you can look at Last Show with Darcy. There we go. So the pickaxe gets rid of all of those hashed area things, so you go get the pickaxe over there. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. So then... This one's called Leap of Faith. Oh, and those those things with the spinning? Uh, oh, you can't do changes, that. Changes, okay. flips the flips the gates. Oh. So you want to get the pickaxe, then touch that thing, and then go around. Oh, I see. If you jump up, jump with up, what is the button to do? The button flips. Oh, okay. Uh, flips up, upside down. But you can only flip upside down, not upside down. But oh, oh you made it! Yay! How do I get? And you can only shift the black and white when you're on solid ground, like yeah. she is now. Step into the monochromatic and mind-bending universe of shift, where black and white landscapes hide more than meets the eye. Oh. Where inside is outside, and light and dark don't differ. Uh, thanks to Anthony Lavelle and Armor Games for the original game, and for their support, check out their Shift Legacy Collection, soon to be released for PC. Shift contains 36 levels, plus one secret level, which he has not revealed how to get there yet. Oh, R for Atari Restart Level, but there is no restart game. Hmm. Maybe it's a good thing to add in. Yeah, yeah you just flipped it. Try to get it. There you go. There you go. Jump, jump. Eight diagonal jumping. Yeah. It's, it's very tricky. You can stand over to that left side there and flip it. But you can't flip it on that spot. Oh, I see. Yay! Yay! My turn. We'll switch off. Yeah. Um, yep, yeah, cool. Cool, this one's gonna be... Ah! <laughs> so you have to jump, get it, then navigate through. Yeah. And I'm guessing. Ah! Ooh, maybe all the way up here? Oh, yeah, okay. Put that. To get around that? No. Or the other, or to the far right, maybe? Yes. Flip that over. That was nice. too easy. That's good. You can do the next one. Okay. That one was a little bit easy. Mm. Um, oh, I love this concept, by the way. I, that's why I wanted to play it today, because you missed nice. it. This on is the other fantastic. Day. Yeah. Uh, this. Flip that. Then you get the next one. Flip that. Flip that. Out, so yeah. you have to flip out. Right around, I think. No. No. Go to the left. Yes. Left, left, and down. Oh, you can't do that. There. Yeah. Oh, I think we're over. good. I'm not good with the jump key. Up to jump is up tough. and left. Oh, we, I have a joystick. We should be using the other joystick. My up to jump joystick. Oh, yes. That is why I have it. <laughs> VVG reminding us of the hardware we have. Yes. If only you had a controller with a second button. Oh, you can find it. There we go. <laughs> yeah, if only we had a joystick <laughs> that Double Down made for us. Oh. That had up to jump. <laughs> but, I mean, button, to button for up. Thank you, Double Down! Mm -hmm. Coming to the rescue! This is the joystick Double Down made up for us specially that has a switch 
that you can switch to up for the second button. Look at that! Button for jump! Okay, yeah. your turn. Oh, no, you are. Oh. I thought you were starting this level. I need to get that. Oh, did it? Yeah, it worked. Okay. That's where it was. Oh, you want to be at the bottom. That's why. Oh. The lower bottom, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. No. That just puts you in it again, doesn't it? Got to be here. Uh, and get across to Yeah, that. to the left. Good job. Yes. Now I'm Bottom confused. One. There you go. So now you can get up that side. Hey. That's free, so you can go to the bottom. Ah, uh, okay. But I think. Yes, and I get that one. Mm -hmm. There you go. And do the same thing again. Bottom. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yay! Kittens, what are you doing? You're being oh, all squeakers. He's like, I'm pathetic. Aww. We. Moved the couch and found this dude. This, oh, yeah. This bobblehead guy, and I can't remember when or who we got it from. I think it was supposed to be me. I'm sure it was. Blonde hair. So, yeah. I don't know where that came from. It's been hiding under the couch for years. I'm sure the cats had something to do with it. Oh, 100. That. It belongs under the couch. Another one. Oh, no, is that a problem? Flip that other one. Touch it. Flip. Go back to that. Oh, there you go. Up and over. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, no, you have to go all the way around. When we last moved, we found so many cat toys, Nostalgic says. That's how it is owning a cat, is whenever you move the fridge, the stove, the couch, entertainment center, there's just a stash. Yep, yep, just hold to the left. Jump and hold to the left. I think you like it. Ooh. Yay! Good job! I like these. These are a little, little easier than the platformer. Yeah, this is more yeah. puzzly than platformer. I had, I once had a cat who was obsessed with hair, hair ties, and I could not figure out how I kept buying hair elastics. <laughs> and then I had no hair elastics. And then when I moved out of that apartment, I had like, I, I probably 30 hair elastics I found under my stove. Of course. They were all knocked under on the, on the tile floor. You can't jump over that from that one. No. You have to do it from um, this one. It says, yeah, you do. From there, yes. Yep. And do it again, but for this one. Yep. Uh, you just see oh. back, I think. Yeah. 
but not touch that. There we go. Oh, no, I no, 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 no. I have to be up here to jump across. Oh. Da, 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 nice. da, da, da. Level 33, four more to go. Right. 33, 34, 35, 36, four more. Um, hmm. There's supposedly a hidden level, and there's no hints. Let me read out what he said about the hidden level. To get to the secret level, one of the levels has a secret exit. I could have been already past that. That's the only hint that they've given so far. It's got great music too. It does. So I'm guessing that the secret exit is like walking off the screen somewhere. Like say on this one, when you switch back, there's two exits on either side and you walk off. That's the only thing I can see. Into the pit. The pit. Might Zack be a clue? I was thinking that because it's... Well, every level has some words on it. What does Zack mean? Zack. Kaz, backwards. Um, have you flipped that one? I need that one flipped, so... We could go down there. So this one is, is not too hard to get. Yeah. That's that one. Well, now so, that makes it easier to get that one. Yeah, I have to get back here though. Can I jump? Yeah, you could jump that. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you have to flip it. There you go. Now you can get up there. Flip over. Touch that one. Yeah. Flip over. I always have, I'm like, which one is I jump? Know. Which one is flip? Like, type mentally. Zach on the keyboard. Well, it says there's a secret exit. I mean, I could type Zach on the keyboard. Nope. Nope. Doesn't work. Good, good guess, though, nostalgic. Oh, there you go. Over, flip. Oh. oh. Nice. Or Kaz? Okay, let me try Kaz. Nope. You flipped it, right? Yeah. How does that help? It blocks an it. It blocks. Oh, it, no, it unblocks, it, it, it unblocks the, other side. the other side. That's... Please don't die. Ah, oh. uh, then you get past it there. And you jump and flip? No. Hmm. Zach equals RMFR forward slash star. To delete everything on my Atari 8 bit. <laughs> Maybe it's the minus world in SMB, or there's a bug where you can fall out of the world and whatever happens, you warp into the oubliette. Music is great. It's ported as well or original to this version. It said on one of the screens, music by unknown, and one of the original screens. I can't remember if there was music I'm in the. With this. Oh. If you flip back, you have to jump over that spiky pit. Oh, oh not that spiky wrong pit. Wrong button. Oh. I'm guessing the, I don't know. Is the developer still in the chat? 
Um, they can answer. But, yeah. Mm. Second time in a week, somebody has referred to an oubliette. Weird. Mm. That is weird. Maybe you should seek out oubliettes. Is Ali still in the chat? Ali! Ali! Haplo! Help us! Who did the music? Because there's no credit for the music. So either they found this music and it was uncredited music, or it's from the original game. Oh, gosh. And the music's uncredited in the original game. But the developer said they had cooperation with the developers. Jumping that is, it's, it's so tight. It is. Oh, no, don't fall in the pit. You did it before. I did, but yeah. it's, it's just, there's no give uh, on this side. There's no space here, so. Yeah. Oh, you did it. Except you paused in the air and still made it. There, that's where you want to be. And then, oh, there's no room. Oh, you still have to flip one. Because we don't have a dungeon, of course, more an oubliette, really. So... Jump over that, inverted. Oh, what? Top. So flip. Go down one. Flip. Or jump there. That's where you need to jump. I think, it's, think you can? I think you can. I don't think so. I think that's what you have to do. No other way, because that's what it opens, is that area. Yay! Jump and flip. Don't fall. <laughs> okay, got there eventually. Labyrinth Pinball Machine being released. Is it coming out? Is there an elaborate pinball machine coming out? <gasps> Bunch of Bowie music. Nice. That nice. would be cool. Is there a date for that, Gamma? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I need that pickaxe. This is not helping. I didn't do anything. I have to go down here. Oh. Nope. Okay. Nope, yeah. that just gets me back up here. But it does let me jump that. Um, Same thing. Oh, oh okay. That's fine. This yeah. gets that, which opens oh, up that. Which you just messed up. What? You didn't did you get it? Oh, okay, you did get it. I always feel like it should disappear, don't you? I need to flip that back, I think. The one at the bottom. To... This. Yeah, the one at the bottom. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think so. No. The one above it. Yeah. There we go. And then flip back around. Flip. Drop. Oh. It's okay. That one doesn't matter. No. Okay. Good job. Kit. Two more levels. Do you want to do the last one? Do you want me to do this one? Um, I'll do this one if okay. you want to do the last one. Sure. Hi, Rod Castler. Hey, Rod Castler. Very soon, 10... Oh, I didn't ask the price. We're not buying a pen ball machine. <laughs> as nice as that would be, I would have to have careful consideration which pinball machine I would buy if I was going to buy one. Very soon, 10,600 US. It's been making the rounds of all the gaming expos. Oh! Ooh, I wonder if it'll be at PRGE. That'll be cool. That could be a big lineup for that. 
Wonder if the message you missed the secret level was trolling you. Probably. Nobody's found the secret level as far as I know. Because people are asking in the forums about the secret level, and um, but he's not given any any more hints than it's a secret area on a level. Let me get through there. And then flick, fall, and get it. That's an easy job. Fall. There that it should is. Open I was up trying to figure out where that was. Open up so the funny. pickaxe. So. Bottom left. All the way towards the pickaxe. And jump. Jump. And then flip. Jump over that. And then get the pickaxe. Oh. No! Not that way! Oh, it's okay. It's an easy fix. Well, you can't flip from there. Correct. Too tiny. You can do it. That's not hard. There we go. And I think you just have to flip that door, which is... Which one? That? You done... Is it that one? No. Which one's the door? Which is Must the one the that I was missing? Left, left, left. Well, that's not one. No, that's not one. It's only two of them. What? So this one, this one goes back. Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Flip it. It unveils one. <gasps> Ricky. Ricky Hobbits. Uh, Where do I want to be? You want... Oh, you want to be on the top? Maybe. No, you're stuck in a box. Oh, yes. That's where you want to be. And jump up there. Fair enough. If it's possible. Should be. Just really hard. Yay! Get it. There you go. Now it's open. Can't fall through there, though. But now it's ready to go and get it. I think so. Yeah, and all the way over to the right, and then, f oh no, you have to flip that one again, back to where it was. What? Yeah. You have to get that one again. There we go. And jump over? Um... There we go. Oh, yes. Right. I think. Yep. Yay! Last level. Woo! Whoa, my God. Here we go. What is going on here? Look at this. This is insanity. <gasps> Fun. The so. end? Question mark. Just have to keep going down. More and more towards it. Up and, and flip down. down and flip. Down and flip. Up and flip. Always stay up and then go down here. Up. Oh. No. Yep. And go up. No, no, no. Oh. No, go. Uh, oh, no, I want to go this way. Yeah. Down and flip. And go up and flip. And now down. you can go down. I should be here. Going towards it as much as possible. Yeah. Oh, you're on my. Oh, made it up one. Down. Mm. Good. Yes, oh, I'm getting so close. <laughs> I 
No, what? Uh, you have to approach, I think, from the other side. Mm. I think you have to approach from this side that's black. From the right? Yeah. So go up, go to the right. Or, well, go this that way. way. Congratulations, yeah. Subject 4568. You have Where's completed the all the tests. Where's the cake? Uh, on your way out, please inform Subject 4569 to come in. <laughs> nice. Now, is that the code? 4569? Maybe. Maybe. Try it. Somebody, I think, so, somebody tried it and it didn't work. Well, you never know. Hello, subject 1818. Nope, start it over. Oh. Yeah, start it over. Maybe that's just the back to the beginning. Yeah. I ju it's just a bad code and it just starts. No, it's not. It's not a bad code. It's the to restart the level. Ask the next one to come oh, in so okay. it starts you back at level right. one. Right, yeah. I'm guessing. Maybe it's four, five, six, seven since they got lost. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Well, we don't maybe know. Maybe it's 1818 because they say hello, subject 1818. Uh, maybe. I'll we'll have to reset the whole thing. Let's try it. Thank you, Double Down, for your uh, helpful joystick. Very, very helpful. It was the correct tool for the job. That's right. That's why I have so many joysticks. <laughs> they Everyone gets a new subject oh, number. Oh, okay. Interesting. So that doesn't help. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Try a whole one. Yep. Sure. We'll do one last one. One last code. No. <laughs> no, that's it. Very good game very as good. well as the last game was also very, very good. Mm -hmm. Two platformers, very different platformers. Um, okay, let's go away from that. So, a quick, a quick day today. Just a couple really games. Really great games, though. Yeah. Agent Wander. Yes. That's fun. Excellent game. Yeah. Um, puzzly, platforming, yeah. more bad guys. Um, yeah, more bad guys. It's, it is a platformer action game yeah. and yeah. shift is a, a good puzzle a good challenging puzzle game too it is like and, it and got more and more puzzly as you went on yeah and i love how every level ha adds a new element to every every puzzle yeah, so so. ramps up yeah. slowly yeah and the wormy guys were cute the wormy guys were cute yes yeah. definitely and uh shift was very good excellent um, so much fun needs more levels I love, I love I love games like that. Little puzzle. Every level is a puzzle. And that's why I wanted to finish off today. Oh, I know nice. It's like, oh, I like it's a puzzle games. games. I know it'll be yeah. good for you. Yeah. Yeah. It just happened to come up on the day with Darcy. So I was like, well, we didn't finish it. Well, that's fine. Let's cross it over to the next there one. There you go. It means I get to play a few. <laughs> yep. Um, so I'm still trying to build shows upcoming. Um, so I don't have a full day yet planned. For the next shows um, but some games that are upcoming uh, we're gonna be playing Super Pro Racers for the Atari 7800 Fury for the Lynx so I'll be on the lookout there's a whole bunch of 2600 games that are started so I might combine those take a quick look at some of those on a 2600 day just to show them off a bit and talk about a bit about them um, I think we might be pretty close to Steve Englehart's developer spotlight. And there's another day that I'm going to fit in somewhere very, very soon with a bunch of developers that are going to unveil something. Oh, I very, like unveiling, so yes. Very wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> so I will be scheduling that in the next day or so. Try and find, uh, it's either Tuesday or Friday. Okay, okay. Seeing which day works best for them. Okay. 
And that's why we have an early day and a late day. Nice. So better for different parts of the world. <laughs> um, and Champ Games Secret Homebrew might ping uh, John Champo, see where he's at. See okay. if it's going to be like June or July. See where that falls. I'm excited for that. Yep. And I know Lawrence Stavely is pretty close with uh, um, his game to, mm. to show that off. I'm not sure how close to PRG wants to show it off, whether he wants it really close, because I think it's going to go on sale uh, there, uh, jumping, jumping in shadows. Mm. Um, so he might want to push it right up against PRG. I'm not sure. We're in final testing. Okay, very, very soon nice. then. Secret champ games. Yeah, I, the secret <laughs> one that I don't know till we start it up on here. That's yeah. the exciting part. Very nice. And uh, maybe I'll reach out to Chris Walton to see where he's at too. Okay. So uh, it'll be fun to do another developer. Yeah, I think so. Soon. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, of course, Lawrence Stavely's developer spot that will be like, here's a billion games. Yeah. <laughs> We yeah. can't look at the wall, yeah. but we're going to run through some of them, play maybe his favorites that he would like to talk about. That might be a good tactic. See, there's, there's tons of them. Or stick to like the the reboot games, like strictly reboot and not the um, ports. We'll see. I'll talk about it. Your new segment, Champing at the Bit. There we oh, go. Oh, <laughs> that's good. That's a good And name. if it's a horse racing game, even oh. better. <laughs> I can't see him doing a horse racing game. <laughs> well, you never know. You never know. Is there a, a big uh, arcade horse racing game that hasn't been converted over? That's funny. Yeah. A tactical spotlight. A tackle light. Yeah. Tackle light. You fish with that? <laughs> um, it's a tackle light for your tackle box when, you, oh, when you're fishing at night. There you go. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, shoes. Shoes. I'm not familiar with that one. <laughs> We're going to look that one up right now because arcade shoes. Oh my God. It's a horseshoe game. Horseshoes. Oh my goodness. Pitch it to me, baby. Oh my. Okay. So adjust position. I can't see him doing it. The chicken ru running across. Do you accidentally have to wait for the chicken to get out of the way? <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the horseshoe? See, I feel like this would have been a fantastic Wii game. Oh, uh, yeah. This like horseshoe been. tossing, you know? It's it's right up there with bowling. Yeah, it's just, it's bowling just a little bit different. Or cornhole. cornhole All of those yeah. would have been fantastic games. Somebody needs to make cornhole for the 2600 with yeah. Quadtari. Quadtari? Quadtari cornhole. So there's four joysticks. Okay, so okay. Four people can yes, play. Yes, yes. I think that would be great. I think that would be fun. Even it's better if you can do it over do. the internet, because it's turn-based. True. You could you could Even have a four-player internet Fuji, Atari. Fujinet Cornhole. Fujinet, there you go. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, you can time? adapt it to the uh, Uno card, plus card. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There's your next game. There you go. Uh, cornhole. <laughs> cornhole. That's right. Oh, he got it. Yeah, technically you only need one controller if you're all four playing, but true. I think you should do a FujiNet version of it. I think that'd be well, really that's fun. Well, that's Atari 8-bit. I don't. Is it 8-bit? I, I can't do that. Sorry. Yeah, I'd have to do a 2600 one. Um, but I'm going to do an original game next. I'm not going to. Okay. Well, I guess Cornhole's original. I'm not adapting it yeah, true. from anything. There's true. no Cornhole at yeah. Arcade is there? <laughs> I don't think anybody made cornhole for that arcade. Oh, I'm sure cornhole someone has somewhere. Arcade. I don't think it was popular when. No, there's no cornhole arcade. Is it? No. Cornhole challenge. But that's like. Let's just. Oh, it's, what is this? I'm not showing you because I don't know what this is. Oh, I can't fast forward. This. <laughs> go, go. Yeah, yeah, get on with it. Oh, is oh, it a there video is, game? There is an arcade game, an arcade, Was like... It? Yeah. No, it looks new. Oh, it... Oh, what? That looks old, but new. Yeah, interesting. What is that? It looks like a pinball machine, but it's only got a spinner. Interesting. Well, 2600 has spinners. Yeah, Arcade Cornhole is skee ball. Good point. Good point, Kim and Dad. <laughs> it's true. It is skee ball. It is true. Um, uh, so thanks funny. for hanging out with us. <laughs> uh, super fun games. They're both fully available to download. Yeah. So you can try them out on emulator or if you have a, 
Atari 8-bit uh, system. Uh, thanks for hanging out, Gamma Dev, VVG Double Down, uh, Cyrano, Dan, AVC, Prout, uh, Prout 7, Rendered Ghost, the Toko, Chitlala, Rod Castler, BR Pocock, Catbot Arena, Carl G with the Super Pro Tips, nice. Polygox, <laughs> it's Kev, VVG Double Down, thank you for the suggestion of the joystick. Yep. Um, who else? Who else? Rendered Ghost. Um, um, let's see. I think that uh, yeah, might Atari be Warlord. It. Atari Warlord. Miscommand. Miscommand. Woo. So thanks for hanging out with mm -hmm. us. We'll be back on Friday with Erlen, hopefully. Yeah. Should be. We're here for Friday. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's early show. And uh, we will see you then. So yes. have a great week. Have a great week. Everyone. Thank you for joining. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Should we raid? There is there someone raid. to raid? Is there someone Let's to raid? Let's see if there is somebody to raid. If there is. See if there's a friend of the show. Let's go to Twitch. Atari Beer Pong. Excellent. Friend of the show. Atari Beer Pong. Did that work? Will that work? Yes. I don't think I have to capitalize it. Yeah, that's right. So uh, we are done here. So yes. you can go take a look at Atari Beer Pong. He plays Atari ST games. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be back on Friday. And uh, you guys have a great week. And we'll see you then. Yep. Bye-bye.